Thanks guys for tuning in. Love that you guys are on right now. Thanks for everybody. Share the broadcast because Robin Bullock and Lady Robin are gonna be joining us in just seconds. We normally have a roll in for them, but we are frozen in time here like I've never seen before on Faith with Katie in our five years broadcasting. That must mean God is up to something and the enemy doesn't like it. So you definitely have to share the broadcast because that indicates to me that Robin Bullock and Lady Robin have something to say that's going to break through for you, your family, your body, your money, and every part of you. So uh, do we have any video capacity yet? You, we do. Let's do their rolling. <laughs> it must be something big a cooking today. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. And, yeah, when when you said she could pinch it between her fingers, that's this is real right here. This is real. Yeah, for I real. Said, I looked at Robin. I said, "It is real. It's this is so real. real." Yeah. Oh, it is so real. Our daughter just got through reading the Serpent in the Soul, and Krista. If anybody has known her story, I'm not going to take the time to tell it all, but. Uh, several years ago, Krista was attacked with her health and her lung collapsed. And it was um, unbeknowing to us to, uh, the, the, it stumped the doctors. And so after almost 30 days in the hospital and four surgeries later, uh, they finally got her lung glued back to her, the chest wall. And uh, it was, we stood on faith. We, we, guarded her we it was the time people were going into hospitals but wasn't coming out it wasn't due to COVID or anything but after she got out there was these long lasting effects hmm. and it just wasn't our daughter she was dealing with things that that we had never saw her deal with she just went back to her peppy uh self that that she always was her energetic self and you sent this manuscript you saw us at the minister's conference and you prayed for her and you sent this manuscript to her and she just got through she pulled away and went away for several days and just uh immersed herself in this book and i'm telling you right now i can testify as a mother she came out and she is back to our Krista Jordan. Wow, man. I remember when we met that day. That was the Lord. Amen. Um, yes. Kelly Copeland asked me to come over and play, pray for Krista. And I think, uh, didn't she say something? This is so awful that this happened. I hate the devil so much. I'm going to punch him out, man. Yeah. That they had to score her chest to make it bleed yes. so that her lung could stick to her chest yes. wall so it wouldn't fall down and collapse. That's, yes. Is that right? That's correct, yes. Man, that's insane. She had, yeah, she had all the scar tissue going on, and that's where you saw a lot of her issues. And then um, after reading this book, she dealt with a lot of, of serpents that had, uh, um, had just attached to her through that, all those surgeries. Yeah. And, um, and I'm telling you what, she she ordered uh, 26 copies for our staff. <laughs> Praise <laughs> so God. So now we're all reading. <laughs> we're all reading this. Everybody's becoming a snake hunter. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, you can spot them. I'm oh, like, man. no, stay in the weeds. You're not spitting on me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so happy that I'm not going to be the weirdest person in the room. But I'm no, telling you, no, no, no. the weird people are getting it done. That's right. Yeah. You know, I think also didn't Krista say that she, a lot of the scar tissue disappeared because now she can actually move her yes. shoulders without pain? Yes, that's correct. Mm. Wow, that's, that's, I love it. You know, I, I, I love you guys already, and we're just starting to develop our friendship, right, and our relationship, but you guys aren't, 
aren't even hesitant to say, hey, another ministry had something that helped us. I do the same thing, but there's hardly any leaders that will actually do that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you know, I, I'll tell you, I think about, I think about this and, and this, uh, this book you've written. People, people don't realize in the whole scheme of things what time it is. And it's amazing that it came out now. Yeah. Because this is the time that the seed of the serpent is trying to be pushed into the earth. And I'm talking about the seed of the serpent. Mm. It's trying to be pushed into the earth globally before it's time. And, and what's happened is, is it's trying to fill every, every single part of people's lives from, the, from nations. See, what, what we deal with is we, we're dealing with four spirits, four classes of spirits. Now, this is amazing because I was thinking about this before I came out here that we deal with principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. Mm. But these are listed from the lowest to the highest, actually. Mm. Mm. And spiritual wickedness in high places are way up here, and they deal with people, and not, not presidents, not political people. They deal above that. And they are in the realm of the WEF, the WHO, yeah. CERN, all of these things. This is what that, that class of spirit deals with. Wow. And, and you know, and, and, and what it is, it's all designed. Now, I know this sounds like I'm going around the block about this to get back to your book. No, you don't but, have to. <laughs> but here is the thing. But it's, I'm really trying to. Up on the top level, see, that's where you saw the WEF. We're not talking about Bob's All Night Bike Shop down here on the corner. We're talking about the WEF, mm. the World Economic Forum, who brought a full-fledged, what looked like a shaman witch on their stage wow. and began to breathe on each member on the panel. And, the, and they wasn't pulling back. They wasn't smiling. They leaned into her breath. And so you have that. Then you have the, the WHO, World Health Organization, that when they met with China, they had Shiva on their table. Wow. They, the Hindu god of destruction. And, they, um, and then they were talking about this pandemic. But in order to get this thing going, they recreated the ceremony of Pan in Caesarea Philippi and brought Pan from the underworld unto the outer world when they dedicated the Gothard Tunnel. And so then you move over to CERN, who is on, built on the Temple of Apollo. And on the Temple of Apollo is where uh, they're trying to open another dimension. And even their own people said, if we can open this dimension, something may step through it, or we can send something through it. And it's uh, 17 miles in a circle, on that temple, well, they're trying to open Revelation chapter 9 when the bottomless pit is open and the leader is Apollyon. Wow. It comes out of the pit. Wow. Well, then you take one step further and we go to the Paris Olympics. And when the Paris Olympics opened, you had the mockery of the Last Supper and where they put a transgender in Jesus' place. They put these different things. And when they set it up, they opened it with that, with the rider of the apocalypse the, the, on the white horse, m rode in and opened it. Then they showed this. But when they closed it, they put a piano upside down and put a player on the piano. And when they did this, they, called, they played a hymn to show it was a worship service. Oh, my gosh. But it was a hymn. Get this, Katie, the hymn of Apollo. Oh and so gosh. there, and, and then this fallen being came down with a key. Uh, he opened up the bottomless pit when he met with the rider of the white horse. The hordes of hell came up out of the pit and they opened a portal and set it up on the earth. Wow. And there showed a panoramic, a cinematic view. If you put all the instances together, 
is to bring in the seed of the serpent, the Antichrist. Wow. That's what it's all about, and they have to push him in early. Now, that's spiritual wickedness in high places. But then if you come down to the rulers of the darkness of this world, this is the world of illusion. It's the world of, of video, Hollywood, everything to carry the plan and make it look one way when it's really another way. It's an illusional world. Then you step down to the spirit called powers, and that's where presidents, governors, all of that reside. But then when you step down from there to the people, principalities are there. Princes over palities, over every walk of life. But it's all about the seed of the serpent. And if people think it's not, then in Genesis 3, when the scripture says this, said, eat this fruit and your eyes will be opened. Mm. What he's saying is, as we would say this in a modern term, eat this fruit and you'll be woke. Oh. Your eyes will be opened. Oh. You will be woke. So it's been handed down oh. to every local part of life. And that's why there's everything you're dealing with is serpent based. Wow. It's serpent based because, and if you came out with that book now, because it's been, it's what's been pushed in from the top spirit all the way down the stairs into the everyday life. And so that's what you're dealing with. And that's why. And if you think, Kamala Harris said, we don't care how woke you are, just be woke. Oh, In other words, we don't care how big a bite of the fruit you take, just take a bite. And so, it, but it's still the serpent. Genesis 3.15, the seed of the woman and the seed mm. of the serpent. Mm. And it says this, and the seed of the woman will step on the head of the seed of the serpent. Mm showing that it's all in the soul. It's all a soul game. Oh, and it's, wow. a, it's all about the soul. Oh, my gosh. And they're going, the serpent, when it gets to the normal, regular, everyday living, it's going to be a possession of the soul. Oh, and, my gosh. And the soul possesses every part of your life and body. Oh, and, and you know, you know, Katie, this is something that, now, I was thinking about all this right back here before I walked out. And, and here's the thing. If that, see, your blood is liquid soul. That's what it is. As a man thinketh in his heart or his soul, so is he. So your blood carries everything in your soul through your whole body. And if that serpent is it was revealed that it was in the soul, in the mind, the will, the emotions. And if it's going to possess the soul, then your blood will carry that to every part of your body. So your very foot can be hindered by a serpent spirit, and you know nothing about that. Mm, gosh. So that, that's, what, that's what we're dealing with, and I believe that's why that book's out now. Well, the possession of the soul, I mean, the soul of the nation, the very soul of the nation is at, is at risk right now. And you nailed it. You nailed it. The enemy is actually making storms because he's a storm maker. You see that example in Job. Yes. He, you know, Satan, that old serpent, made all kinds of storms for Job. And Job yeah. went around talking through the rest of the book. My soul is vexed. My soul is is right. is bitter. My soul is overwhelmed. My soul is mourning. He was saying that the trauma that he was put through by the storms that that old serpent Satan made wounded his yeah. soul. And then yeah. those wounds create openings, cracks in the soul realm that allows the serpent to take possession of mankind. That's why, you know, Jesus called the Pharisees, oh, you brood of vipers, they were men controlled by serpents. I remember you doing, um, I think it was a year or two ago, I'm not sure how long, but where you talked about the serpent spirit in our current president, and you actually showed pictures you could clearly see the serpent mm -hmm. eye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So, and you know, yeah. you know, when he dropped out of the race, um, just not long ago. Yeah. Which was a challenge to the Almighty is why it happened. People don't realize that they they think well it was it was, you know they they did it to him well they did, but when when Stephanopoulos asked him in an interview, if you can't beat Trump, will you drop out? And if you'll remember, he leaned forward and he said, that all depends on whether the Lord God Almighty comes down and tells me to drop out. <laughs> he said, if he comes down and tells me to drop out, I will drop out. And then he leaned forward and said, but he ain't coming. And oh, then he man. sat back. And about five minutes later, he said it again. He said, well, that all depends if the Lord God Almighty comes down and tells me to drop out. He said, but he's not coming. Wow. And when he said that, he challenged the Almighty on, in the open. Well, now watch this. When he dropped out, uh, you, when you saw that one eye, See, where I got that from was, and this is what people need to realize, that serpent spirit that you're talking about, that's the problem in every walk of life. Yeah. All of it. I mean, there's, it's, it's that, the seed of the serpent mm. doing battle with the seed of the woman. The Almighty never said there was another battle. He said, that's it. And so it started in Genesis 3.15. Well, when he dropped out of that race, I just took my phone and just reached up and took a snapshot of his face. When I enlarged it, both eyes were golden snake's eyes wow. in both of his eyes. I mean, it don't even look real. And uh, it looks like something made up. When he dropped out, see, wow. every time he would whisper and say, remember when he went through that, he leaned forward and he'd say, I did that. I, I don't know if you remember. Yeah, that. I remember that. I well, do. when I heard it, I see, that's a hiss. hiss. And I turned and looked at the television when I heard him say it. And I just walked up and took a picture of him. Every time he did it, his right eye would turn would slot, wow, man. turn golden. Wow. Now, Fauci's did that, too, as another. And then, you know, COVID was snake venom. And it's already mm. now been proven that's, a, that's what it was. 100%. Yeah, and, and the, the cure for it was more. And it's <laughs> all, it, it, was oh. all, it was all snake venom. <laughs> and there was even one report, you know, where they and what they did with it was they said they put it in a in a water supply oh man and uh and it was just it was all akin to snake venom every bit of it so when when the lord said in genesis 3:15 the seed of the woman is going to bruise the head of the seed of the serpent he meant that and notice this he said that as if everybody standing there knew what he was talking about. Oh, man. He never explained it to those three, to the serpent, the man, or the woman. It's because, Katie, they all knew. They all knew Lucifer had sang the song of the man, and he was going to produce a hybrid race Welcome. in the days of come to come. Lord God. And that's, and you know, you asked me at the first of this, and I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Robin told me when it was over, when we walked off. See, I, I never advertise anything I do. I just say, well, if it comes up, it comes up. <laughs> you know, okay, if it comes up, good. Steve Schultz will ask me that, you know. And, but there is a, the Lord had me write this series of warfare books and one is called the pool and the portal and your your viewers might want to go check that book out uh yeah we're gonna get the link right now the guys are gonna look for it the pool and the portal 
And yeah, and and there's the sequel to it is called Chapter 14. You would be interested to see the back cover of that book. <laughs> you would very well. Guys, be. let's see if we can get a graphic of the back <laughs> cover of Chapter 14. You That's might see it on the front cover too. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, Just, yeah, I want to see but that. Now, I put you on the spot. I know. No, you didn't. I, absolutely not. It's fine. The guys are at work for it right now. Um, what video did you guys pull? Um, the witch blowing on people. Okay, we have the video of the witch blowing on people at the about that? WEF. Yeah. Yeah. Let's roll that and check out this blasphemous activity at the highest level of government. Elon Musk referred to this person in the headdress with the face paint and everything as Elizabeth Warren, but she looks a little different. This is obviously some sort of prayer. It's obviously not a Christian prayer, so one can only imagine which uh, supposed deities she's invoking. Okay, now she's breathing on her hands. That doesn't seem very cautious with COVID. And oh, there we go. She coughed on one of the panelists' faces. Okay, another one. She's just. They're obviously just messing with us because I'm coming out of it because I felt a lot of demonic activity on that. So yeah, I release the blood right now because absolutely. the seed of the woman, Jesus Christ, is crushing the head of that serpent impartation right there. She's not imparting to you. She's imparting to them. But I, yeah. I want to clear that atmosphere right there. That is wickedness right there. Oh, oh, she was, and they were receiving it. Did you notice that? Oh, yeah. They, they were receiving it, and they knew what they were doing. Mm. At the highest echelon, somebody knows. If you could ever see the dedication of the Gothard Tunnel the, in Switzerland around the same time, it, this all happened, started happening around 15 and 16, uh, 2015 and 16. And it was blessed by four different priests at the Gothard Tunnel. And what it was is they were, get this, they were dedicating a portal. And when they dedicated this portal, they absolutely 100% unequivocally recreated the ceremony of pan i mean the where they bring pan out of the the caverns of hell and bring him up to the top of the ground from underneath and they showed uh they showed everything in hell then they marched him up where they all took off all their clothes and they had this giant pandemonium thing that pan would do I mean, it was absolutely, and the end result was they brought the goat man to the surface and brought him out. And world leaders, a hundred different people were sitting there watching it in suits and ties. And then they made no secret of what they were doing. And um, so in these higher echelons like that, they're above politics. They, they control these things. This is the place where Noah Harari is their prophet. He's explain, the oracle. Explain to everyone who's watching, in case they don't know, who Noah Harari is. Noah Harari is, uh, uh, believe it or not, he teaches at the Hebrew un University there on Mount Scopus. And he, was, um, he is the number one advisor to Klaus Schwab over the WEF. Oh, man. And what he is, is they call him the prophet. Now, he's the one, this is his words. Now, this is his interviews. He says, this was one of them. Check this out. He said, uh, we, said, we don't, said, all the God of the Hebrew Bible. Now, he won't deny the God that he exists or that he's the God of the Hebrew Bible. But here's his wording. All the God of the Hebrew Bible managed to do was to create in, uh, organic life, trees, tomatoes, giraffes, and humans. Oh my God. He said, we're going to go beyond the God of the Bible oh, and create inorganic life. He said, some will, be, um, some will be kind of like cyborgs. People will become like cyborgs. He said, then some will have chips inserted, but then we're going to create total 
non-carbon-based bodies and uh, straight-up AIs, and with not, and we'll have non-carbon-based bodies. And the interviewer, the more he talked, the more it scared her. And she said, will we be human? He said, well, not as you know human. He said, what it's going to be like is one day it'll be just like you pulled a screen down and everything changed. Whoa. In other words, whatever they're going to do, he said, when you pull the screen down, in other words, green will become blue, and you'll believe it was always blue. There's nothing. Everything will change. And then he said this. He said 2020 was the year that men agreed to be surveyed under the skin. He said those words. And get this. Klaus Schwab said this. He said, he said we, uh, now, now this is what he said. He said, COVID and all of this is not crisis. We're not in crisis. He said, we're in transformation mode. Mm. Oh. And he said, some will endure the transformation. Some will not. Or he said, some will, he kind of went around the park. But Harari said this. He said, if you don't get on board, they won't need you as a serf or a slave. And then he wow. said, then when he was asked this recently, the they said, do you believe that Donald Trump will win the election? Harari said, it's likely. He said, but if he does, it'll be the kind of death blow to our one world agenda we put out so far. Wow. He actually said that. So what, what are they talking about? This is Agreed to, to be surveyed under the skin? Yeah. Uh, we know COVID was a serpent seed. Uh, the seed of the serpent is the Antichrist. Yep. We know they're trying to push him in. They're trying to, to get all the governments on board and then raise up a world leader in the middle of it. In the past, they raised up someone like Hitler, and he marched with an army, but there was resistance. But not this time. If everybody's on board then one leader can be brought up on the scene mm -hmm. and everybody already agrees to have him. This is what the WEF is about. This is what all this is about on the top floor. And then it comes down to illusion, then politics, then the people. Wow. And that's the kind of the way it's set up. And that's what you're battling. No matter what people think. Well, this that went from heavy to anvil heavy, didn't it? This is outrageous, <laughs> though, and nobody knows about this and nobody understands it. Guys, I want you to get communion ready because we're going to keep talking, but at the end of the broadcast for the last 10 minutes or so, we're going to serve communion because the seed of the woman, Jesus Christ, crushed yes. the head of the seed of the serpent. That crushing Absolutely. took place at the cross. And when we as a group collective celebrate and do it in remembrance, do the yes. supper, the body and the blood of Jesus, in remembrance of him, we will crush the head. We will get healed of the trauma that's inside of us and we'll take the serpent out so when they release, as they're releasing these agendas against us, we won't have anything in us that's in common with them. And we Absolutely. will be in that place of safety underneath the shadow of Calvary. So I want you to get prepared with this because we're going to take it towards the end of the broadcast. And I'm also going to ask, you know, Lady Robin and Robin to minister out of this revelation because yeah. people don't know this, Robin and Robin. They don't. They don't understand it. And even if they did, they wouldn't know what to do about it. They don't have any faith to take it on. Uh, fill us in and some more things the Lord has shown you because, you know, I might have wrote this book, but it was on the individual level. You're on a government level now. You're on highest level government thinking um, we should have wrote a book together. <laughs> but see, see, that's why I think your book, that's why I was back there when I came out. I told Robin, I said, I think I know what I'm supposed to say. Yeah. And I'm looking at that book, and I watched how it set people free here. 
And I watched how it, what it did to Krista's life. Yeah. And I watched how that is. See, there was nothing, Katie, nothing at this. See, God is exposing this now from the highest level to the common everyday life. And, and that's the same spirit. It's never changed. Mm -mm. The war is still the same. But see, we had no books, nothing to deal with it in the, in the principality realm. And that's where the populace lives, oh, is yeah. in the principality realm. And they can bring up, uh, there's, if you just look at it, and if you know what you're looking for, you see that serpent spirit everywhere. Everywhere. It's there, everywhere. Everywhere. And so, but, it, but it's, if it's here in the principality realm, it's coming from the top down. And so it's just like they're dumping it all out because without the people, that Harari guy said this. He said, now listen what he said. He said, why do we need so many humans anymore? Wow. Now, now think about it. He said that as if ah. he's not one. Unbelievable. And he said that about, about all God managed to create as if he was there when he saw it happen. Who? The serpent and in the garden. That's exactly right. And then he said this. He said, he said, um, why do we need so many humans for anymore? He said, well, well, we need them for data. He said, we can oh use them for data. Gosh. He said, yeah, you know what? I don't mean to interrupt, yeah. but you know what data yeah. they're using us for? They're studying us. They're experimenting on us because they're trying to create perfect hybrids. They're trying to no, combine. You're, you're absolutely right. So they have to study us. It's that, that's why the devil uh, contended against Michael for Moses' body. He wanted to know what made Moses last so long, what well, made his eyes not be dim and his strength not abated. He was doing an aut He wanted to do an but, autopsy. No, oh, you're oh, oh you're, wow, that's good. You're that's on, good. You're on. You're on. That's why Hitler experimented with the Jews. So he <laughs> he would he would just cut one of them's arm off. And sit there and time them how long it would take to bleed to death. Mm. They would they would do things, and he was taken by twin Jewish twins, and they would just experiment because they were God's chosen people, mm. and they wanted that DNA. See, uh, the DNA. Uh, oh my goodness! Man. Where, where where Jacob saw the ladder, you know the ladder he dreamed yep. of, and he saw that. that's a DNA helix he saw. He saw this helix. It's a spiral staircase he saw. It was a helix, and the Jewish DNA was, was the helix of God. And so that's why Hitler went after everything about Jews. Well, that's still the same way, you know. It's still that way. That's why they're persecuted so. Man. Well, so when, when you start looking at this to create a hybrid, they're going to do it. I, I could say something that's heavy, but I don't know if it just upend everybody's uh, mind. No, oh. you're fine. Um, see, it, uh, Satan, okay, in, in, the, uh, in the beginning, God, well, uh, well I, I don't have, we don't have time for that, but here, here is the thing. He began to look for a creature that he could mingle seed with and create a hybrid. Yes. That's how the giants got here. Exactly. Okay, but, but there was an experiment. If you know how to study it and you're looking for it in Hebrew, you can find they were an experiment. They took the strongest women of the day, the strongest people of the day. Now, I'm going to say something that's really, really tough, and they would take all these people and they would even take them from husbands. They would take their wives. But they would experiment. Uh, the Jews say this, Goliath had a hundred fathers and one dog. That's, that's what they call him. That's why he said, am I a dog? He had a hundred fathers and one dog. He was, a, he was a product of experimental genetic coding where they mm. would do genetic codes. Mm. Well, the only animal... Because there's no telling how many died trying to 
give birth to these giant things. But there's one animal that science has proven, even a dinosaur, even a, any serpent like that, it didn't reach its, it wouldn't even start growing big until after a year. So the seed of a serpent would not affect the person. In other words, that they could have birthed that hybrid being, and it wouldn't have grown huge until after a year or so after. And so they figured out how to do it, and that's what happened in Genesis 6. And so that's why it keeps talking about the seed of the serpent, seed of the serpent, seed of the serpent. And now Harari's talking about hybrid beings. And now COVID was snake venom. And now okay, okay, let me just, stop you right there because I want to I want to explain some facts to people. You might think snake venom, COVID. Well, look what happened to people in Numbers 21 when they got bit by fiery serpents. They died. They were injected with the venom and they died. Okay, now I'm telling you right now that the demonic realm is able to do that. They're able to inject you with venom so that you will form cancer, arthritis, disease, COVID, and all the rest. I can't tell you how many times, like I had a woman that had breast cancer with a lump the size of my fist, and when I commanded that serpent to come off her breast, because Job 3 says that the serpent curses the breast, curses the womb, that she had a runny yellow liquid draining out of her breast for five days as her breast regenerated and the tumor shrank. She said it looked just like serpent venom. So many times, Robin and Robin, I've, I've done that on the populist level of just commanding Absolutely. cancer to come out in the form of snake venom. And when it does, the tumors shrink, the disease leaves, the arthritis goes. So COVID definitely was an injection of venom. And so was the you know what that came after it to fix it. Well, and, and see, that's not me. I'm not a medical expert, but there are medical experts that I think the University of Arizona was one of them that actually came out and said, man, this, this COVID is almost exactly like rattlesnake venom. Wow. I mean, they, they Imagine just that. Begin, yeah, they just begin to uncover it medically. And so if you're going to challenge me on it, you have to challenge them on it because they're the experts. Mm. I'm telling you in the spirit what took place. Well, that's why the Bible, and, one of the curses against the serpent was yeah. he was going to go on his belly and eat the dirt. We're made of dirt. That's, that's exactly right. That's, that's right. So we, what, we're, what we're up against right now, that's why this book you've written is so, so important. It's because, it, and if they, if they look at the pool and the portal in chapter 14, and then the third one's coming. But if you look at those, it, it, it kind of puts the same thing on a, well, I just, I can't say any more about it. You just have to look at it. But, but that's why this book you've written is so important because they dumped this stuff out into the populace. Now I'm talking about the devil here. I'm talking about uh, a lot of politicians don't even know they're involved in that. Yeah. Because this thing from the very top is only told on a need to know basis. Yeah. I mean, you know, most people are just they're just motivated out of greed. But it's but somebody knows. And if they don't know, Katie, they need to fix what makes it look like they know. Mm. And so it's it's just dropping down the line. Well, you know, a lot of times, um, and I'm not, I'm not taking away any responsibility when I say this, but, you know, I remember God showing me how uh, Paul could be such a great, you know, a, a zeal for the Lord, Pharisee among Pharisees. It's like, because he was blinded by the serpent scales on his eyes. Yes, he had serpent scales on scales. his eyes. It said scales. It said scales. It does. And where did he get yeah. them? Well, he was a Pharisee among Pharisees, and the Pharisees were called, oh, you brood of vipers. And he was trained by Gamil, who was the top head Pharisee. Right. So mm -hmm. that do being indoctrinated by somebody with serpent doctrine will put scales mm -hmm. on your own eyes. So that you mm -hmm. can't see. They couldn't see. He couldn't see Jesus for who he really was, his Savior. His Messiah that he had been searching for his own life. So See, these scales yeah. are starting to be put on the populace now. Well, and see, that book will take it off their eyes. See, this, 
Genesis 3.15 is the first time other than when the Lord told Adam, he said, uh, subdue the earth. Well, it was a perfect environment, wasn't it? What was there to subdue? There was seeds that had been planted in the world before Adam. And that's when Lucifer sowed the seed for the hybrid race. And if, if people really wanted to know where it's at, it's in Isaiah 14. The, uh, when he speaks, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? And he starts to say what he said in his heart. We don't have time on this program, but it was a song. That was actually a song. There was a court case in heaven that Lucifer took the revelation of the man to the court of heaven, and he, he brought a protest against Adam. But when it came time to sing the song about the man's authority, he sung it about himself. Mm. And he used that anointing, and when he did it, it put it in this earth. And Isaiah 14, when you read those things, in Hebrew it actually says, it talks about having a back, eyebrows, and skin, and blood bags. He wanted to be a man. And so he <laughs> sowed the seed of the hybrid race. And when he did, he started experimenting in the world before Adam, and that's what brought in the first flood, yeah. not Noah's flood, Wow, the flood of Genesis 1-2. Yeah. Then the Lord told Adam, said, now look, uh, subdue the earth. That means put something under your feet yeah. because that seed's going to try to come up. Mm. And when it did come up, Adam didn't put it under his feet. And that's what the Lord gave the prophecy, Genesis 3.15. And all, everybody there knew what he meant. It's just us that didn't know. But he said the seed of the serpent, uh, the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the seed of the serpent, and the seed of the serpent will bruise her, uh, her seed's heel. He told right there, you're not going to bring that seed into the earth. Come because on. Because we're going to, and he's prophesying the cross. But, Katie, here's the thing. We're also the seed of the woman. Yes. We're... We, because we belong to Jesus. Yes, we're in Christ. So there is going to be, and 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 talks about the Antichrist, but it says, and it tells you what the victorious church is supposed to be. The victorious church is supposed to be the one that resists him from coming into the earth Come on, on their watch. Come on. On their watch. Come on. And so all of a sudden, Katie Souza has a book uh, about this spirit and this and this serpent and the soul and all of a sudden this information is being released from the top of the seed of the serpent and the everything they're doing from the WEF all the way down and all at once the body of Christ is becoming aware that we are actually the power that's inside us is going to is more than enough to defeat whatever is out there. Amen. And what Hallelujah. We have yeah. Okay. Uh, do we have um, any graphics for his books and studies? Because everybody needs to get this stuff. This is governmental level revelation. Do we have anything? Yeah, let's throw it up. Okay. Yeah, no, no, there that's it is, the pool guys. and the portal. Yeah. And um, you, you have to read that as, well, you'll, it, it won't take you but a moment when you get into it. And you'll realize what you're looking at. Yeah. But but all of that, I, I just know the person it all happened to. I'm just going to put it that way. <laughs> I yeah, know well. him very well. I know him very well. And uh, So this is true story with revelation on the level, high level. Yeah, it's it. in a, right. And it's in a, it's, it's written around a fictitious story. Yeah. And, uh, but I was there. The names of the innocents been changed. <laughs> the names of the innocents. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, but, oh. but oh, I know the guy, yeah. I know the guy's names at the bottom of that screen right there. Okay. And and now there's another one right next to it called Chapter 14 that picks up from there. Okay. 
Yep. And, scary. Uh, yeah. Scary. How about that? But this is what, I mean, that looks like, it looks so demonic because that is what's going on. That is yeah, what's going on in, in the realm. That's what's biting you. I mean, I'm not trying I, to scare anybody. This is why we need Jesus on the cross, because this yeah. is real. But I, did, I didn't know you had written that book when that cover and that story. Uh, th that's what I'm trying to say. The Lord has put this thing together from yeah. the deal in government all the way to the populace, mm. everything. He did not leave us unequipped to deal yes. with this time. Amen. Amen. Okay, now we have like five minutes left, so we're going to go into communion. Um, I just want to make a comment. You know, it says he, Robin said, you know, Isaiah 14, that uh, Satan wanted to become a man, a human. Why would he want to do that? Because we are Psalms 8, guys. We're the ones that God gave dominion over oh, all the works of his hands to yeah. us. They wish they had these human bodies. You see, it requires a dirt body to take dominion over all the earth. Okay, that's why it says in Psalm 8 in the Amplified Classic, Who are you, O earthborn man? Earthborn man, that you've been given dominion over all the works of his hands. You have to have an earthborn body to take dominion over this, over this earth and over all the works of God's hands. And that's why they're creating these hybrids, because it's half human, half demonic. That's They've right. got to have those bodies in order to take dominion. Dominion. Did you know that you do know? Did you know that Psalm eight is actually a court case Satan brought to heaven? Wow! Lucifer brought to heaven. Wow! Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to reread that with new eyes tonight. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we only have like three minutes, guys. Okay. Um, spend like a minute, a minute and a half ministering with communion, and then I'll step in and and jump off of you guys. Okay. Okay, go. So you want us to do that? Yeah, 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 please. All right, Lord, we lift up your body right now. Lord God, this represents your body. And Lord, you said, take, eat. This is my body, which was broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Lord, we remember everything your body was broken for. Lord God, for our healing, for our deliverance, for our well-being, for depression to leave us, Lord, for, for everything to do with our physical experience here, Lord. Your body was broken for that. And we judge ourselves of sickness, of illness, of pain, of depression, and we receive your body. It's now your body is in our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we hold up the cup that represents your blood. The life of the flesh is in the blood. Lord God, and so everything that we decreed and declared in your flesh now is a coming alive inside us. The blood of Jesus cleanses us of, of, of total sin consciousness, of things, Lord God, of timidness, fear, everything, and it creates an environment that this serpent cannot live in. Yes. And we receive it now. Thank you for your blood, Lord, the most powerful, powerful substance in all of existence the blood of jesus yes god hallelujah hallelujah receive the blood amen and now i decree that if the if the enemy has made storms in your life to crack your soul so that the serpent could have a landing strip, I release the power of the blood in the body of christ that you just partook of to heal and seal yeah. Heal and seal every Heal gate, seal. every wound, every place inside of you that is wounded with trauma right now in the name of Jesus. And I judge every evil altar that was erected in your bloodline and every portal that was opened in your bloodline and every portal that's been opened in your home or in any area of your life. And I judge it and I cover the gate. I cover it like slathering it with the blood of Jesus like they did in Egypt. So those, those demonic spirits have to pass over like the death angel passed over. Over, and they cannot be allowed in your house or in your life anymore because of the bloodline, the bloodline, the bloodline that's on the gates and doors of your home, your possessions, your body, your soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions, and every single part of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Now, guys, I'm going to put up a graphic because I'm joining you. I'm so excited to come and see you guys. Oh, we are excited. Oh, man, I can't wait. We're going to be there, guys. Um, I can't even see the date. It's October what? 
It's October 19th and 20th. That uh, only says the 20th, but we added the 19th. We're adding. That's right. Okay, yes. we're adding. Um, and so I'm going to be there. Uh, go on to our website to get the details, guys. Come and join us there. It's going to be a power pack Friday and Saturday and Sunday. It's amazing stuff. Um, actually, Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be so awesome. I love you guys so much. I wish we could keep going, but we're on the network time. We're, we're, we're <laughs> yeah. airing on DirecTV. So yeah. we'll have you back for sure, for sure. God oh, bless thank you. you for having us. Okay, I love you Amen. both. I can't wait to see you. We love you too. Shalom. Shalom. All right, we'll see you soon, <laughs> and I will see you guys next week. There's a guy named Herschel Royal.